in the Carson Valley and back to you guys up in the lake. Thanks, Mike. Again, Paul Hale here from the Buttermup. Man, I have not seen you for a while and you look different. Lost a little bit of weight. How much? 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Yeah, 50 pounds. I, I, you know, I know you're here wanting to talk about the butter muffin, but you and I were talking during the break, and it's right. really unique. What, what, you changed a few things, but not you weren't really out to change a bunch of things, right? Like, oh, yeah, you know, I got, uh, I was trying to lose weight like crazy for years. It just wasn't happening. And, uh, you know, then I, I took How much did you, what'd you get up to? 200 pounds. Okay. Yeah, and I'm about 5'8". Uh -huh. So, you know, I, I finally got to a, a point where we decided to implement a veggie-based diet for only two days a week. Mm -hmm. My wife has been vegan, vegetarian for a long time. Uh -huh. So I started doing two days a week, and the next thing you know, the weight started coming off, and skin started getting better. My sleep apnea went completely away. Uh -huh. I've got no sleep apnea whatsoever now and uh, it started becoming undeniable so I'm not trying to ever wave the flag of you gotta eat no I know that's important that, we were know. just talking during the commercial break and you, and you were just kind of telling me these things like I wasn't trying to change anything but you yeah. started making these observations yeah it started doing things I wasn't planning on I was trying to help the uh, the quality of our environment by uh -huh. you know with the methane gas and the cattle and all that mm -hmm. but the next thing I know I, I'm not even thinking about the environment I'm going holy cow my my shorts aren't fitting yeah you know awesome that's and you look great. fit man that's great Great. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting younger. In, in what period of time did you lose this 50 pounds? Or Over the last two years. Okay. Yeah. I've not seen you for a while, I suppose. Yeah, we used to, we've seen each other, but I was into transition, so uh, yeah, it was winter yeah. time somewhere. Yeah, oh, that's true, stuff, too. So, huh? yeah. yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, yeah. shorts and, and uh, But I tell shoes. you, getting the balance back is so nice. Like, my snowboarding improved. It shifted up a gear, you well, know? Yeah, I mean, think about carrying, like, a 50-pound pack and snowboarding. That's what I'm saying. Or it's walking completely around different. with it all the time. I mean, one of my big frustrations, I remember going to strap into my boots, and I had to hold my breath, strap uh -huh. in, and then I'm tired when I get up. What's that? That's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's what most Americans are dealing with. So many Americans are dealing with. Good the, job, The dude. hard part, though, is when you go to tell people I'm not eating meat, everyone makes a judgment. You know, they think that it's some weird, I don't know, some weird thing, and it's not. It just, right. it, well, for me, know, it works. But you know what that is, I think? I think we're in this, this tone right now in our country or in the world or with social media where if you don't eat meat, it means like, I, anyone who does eat meat is this, and I'm yeah. the, like, that's like, what, you know, these terms. Where's this these, in between? That it's, these, like it's, these, it's these labeling, these vegan, uh, vegetarian, uh, meat eater, like we're all human beings. Right. I just choose not to eat meat right now and I'm losing weight and getting my life back. And so. you said if you want to eat meat, you eat meat. If right? I want it, I'll eat it. Yeah. I just don't want it because look what it's been doing to me. I know, man. And, and that's great. That, yeah. That's. Yeah. It's, it's like everything. Same thing like with me, like we, with religion. Like the people that I'm really more drawn to are the ones that aren't like hitting me over the head trying to convert me. But right. the one you go, man, you got this amazing life. What's going on? Well, you know, I mean, it's like anything, right? It's working for yeah. me. You know, it's working. Uh, this, so you brought it. <laughs> this blows me away. The butter muffin, if you guys, how do you ex explain, how do you describe what the butter muffin is? How to describe it? You know what? The, the longer that we've been, been in business, the longer we've been doing this, I feel like we're a bit of Tahoe. We're just a piece of Tahoe. I think it's, it's that's a good good description. I mean, you know, there's other places that sell glass products and, and some of the similar things, but you guys have such a diversity of things in there. It's really unique. And everybody's always friendly when I go in there. you got a really nice staff. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So this is amazing. You brought in a piece of art. i got to move this from behind it. that probably give you a little bit better look at this thing. But look at that. This is a, uh, this is a uh, glass pipe, right? Yep. Is it a water pipe? It's a water pipe. Can we call it a bong nowadays or no, like since, since the laws changed? You know, I, b I believe you can. I don't even think anybody yeah. calls them bongs anymore, though. But yeah, and this I don't think even would qualify as a bong. It's no. definitely like even by, even just by the way it's made, it's definitely more of a water pipe. When I say, think bong, I think the big clear tubes or colored tubes. Uh huh. So the down stems. So in your business, I mean, you guys sell the glass products, but this is something. This is like a whole other genre that goes on. These oh, guys, yeah. these glass blowers, are making these. Amazing of art. Absolutely. Well, that's kind of the thing, you know, just like the same we're kind of a piece of Tahoe with the different things we carry. Even in the glass section, you know, we carry something from $6 pipes all the way up to, this is a $9,000 heady piece that we have right here. $9,000. Yeah, and the, the point of that is we're, we're not trying to bring in these high dollar pieces because you're selling a bill, billion of them. We bring them in so we can share them with everybody and that's they can it. see what's going on in this, this glass blowing community. To right me, now. it's this funny little genre of art that exists that, that you have introduced me to. I mean, when you guys first started bringing this stuff in, you guys even had like a glass blowing 
We had a contest. A contest. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, because yeah. I, I remember Big some of that stuff off. that came in was just. That was fun. We hope to do that again. That was really a great time. That's really cool. Yeah. So what else? You guys got any new products? Anything in there that comes to mind? You go, ah, you know, last time I saw you two years ago, whenever it was. You know, like technology-wise, there's this new uh, this new piece. It's uh, it's by Peak uh, Puffco. Uh huh. It's uh, an amazing little vaporizer. I, I don't even know if that's the right word for it. It's an electric rig, I uh -huh. guess you could say. It's small. It's compact. It's user friendly. Mm -hmm. When you're using concentrates, a lot of times people have to use a torch for using right. them. This is electric, so it makes no sound, but it provides you know three different temperature settings that work really, really well. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and are people getting away? I mean, now that cannabis has become recreational, it went from medical to recreational use. Are people? Do you see? Because you're in the shop selling the products, are people getting away from smoking? Are they using more of these other? ways you know, to ingest It's, it's kind of interesting because you get you get a, a broad spectrum of people and what they're after. Some people like the convenience of a little cartridge and a pen. Uh -huh. Other people are worried about exactly what's inside that cartridge. Uh -huh. you, know, um, you get people that are real purists and want to use organic flowers right. and go with that. You get people that just want to pack a punch, something really strong, so they're, <laughs> they're going for the concentrates right. and the big rigs. So but it's, just, a, it's a big range. But a this big whole range. movement's just, just diversifying. All the edibles, too, I guess, are really popular. It, seem, what I, I it seems like everything's just exploding yeah. and the more people are getting knowledge about what they're dealing with the more fine-tuned that they're they're getting their their setups cool the butter muffin google them look them up go visit them for sure they got all kind of stuff aside from these glass products but dude you look great keep Thank up you. the good work and I say hi to it, man. for me we'll do all right we'll take a break come back with that seven-day forecast stay with us